Hi guys, it's Yongi. So for today, this vlog is all about my exercise routine. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Yeah. Let's get it started. Exercise prescription commonly refers to the specific plan of fitness-related activities that are designed for a specified purpose which is often developed by a fitness or rehabilitation specialist for the client or patient. Exercise helps people lose weight and lower the risk of some diseases. Exercising regularly lowers a person's risk of developing some diseases such as obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Exercise can also keep your body at healthy weight. In order to get the maximum out of your training, you need to apply the 5 key principles of training, which is the specificity, individualization, progressive overload, variation, and be aware of reversibility. Warming up is a preparation for physical exertion or a performance by exercising or practicing gently beforehand. Usually, undertaken before a performance or practice, athletes, singers, actors, and other warm up before stressing their muscles. A good warm up before a workout dilates your blood vessels, ensuring that your muscles are well supplied with oxygen. It also raises your muscles' temperature for optimal flexibility and efficiency. By slowly raising your heart rate, the warm-up also helps minimize stress on your heart. The warm-up exercises that I have been doing are jug on spot, jumping jacks, high knees, butt kicks, and last but not the least is the inchworm. Stretching is a form of physical exercise in which a specific muscle or tendon is deliberately flexed or stretched in order to improve the muscle's felt elasticity and achieve comfortable muscle tone. The result is a feeling of increased muscle control, flexibility, and range of motion. Stretching keeps the muscle flexible, strong, and healthy. And we need that flexibility to maintain a range of motion in the joints. Without it, the muscles shortens and become tight. Then, when you call on the muscles for activity, they are weak and unable to extend all the way. A regular physical activity can improve your muscle strength and boost your endurance. Exercise delivers oxygen and nutrients to your tissues and helps your cardiovascular system work more efficiently. And when your heart and lung health improve, you have more energy to tackle daily chores. Get at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity a week or a combination of moderate and vigorous activity. The guidelines suggest that you spread out this exercise during the course of a week. The number of times or repetition that you do a specific exercise is important if you want to improve your cardiovascular health. By changing up your workouts and adding additional tension to your muscles, you can avoid plateauing, which is when your body adapts to the type of exercise you're doing. With progressive overload, you may notice you feel fitter and stronger. Here's why progressive overload is important for your training regimen. Building recovery time into a training program is important because this is the time that the body adapts to the stress of exercise and the real training effects take place. Recovery also allows the body to replenish energy stores and repair damaged tissues.
cooling down after a workout is as important as warming up. After physical activity, your heart is still beating faster than normal. Your body temperature is higher and your blood vessels are dilated. This means if you stop too fast, you could pass out or feel sick. Similar to the warm up, the cool down, also known as the recovery period, usually consists of exercises at a slower pace and reduced intensity. This allows for your heart rate, breathing, and blood pressure to return to the normal at a slower pace. So that is my exercise routine. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.